this wonderful looking beast. So this is it. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Welcome back to Cleaning Garage, it's Fred here. Well, We've been looking for a race car trailer for quite a while. We finally found one. We've got a tilter trailer, dual axle um, tandem flat tray. So let's go outside, let's have a look at it. We'll show you all the operations, deep in depth review. Let's get there. So it's a beautiful day here at Cleaning Garage. We're keeping an eye out for Slippery Sam, he's around. But in the meantime, let's have a look at this wonderful looking beast. So this is it. So we've been looking for a trailer for quite a while. We've got the Ute, we've got the VF. And we were thinking, how do we get something that enables us to have a very low entry here because we've got some low spoilers in our race cars something that's fairly safe and light we can tow and this tilter trailer kept coming up as one of the things to get so this is the one we went for we'll take you all through it in today's video as you can see the approach angle here is very very low and that obviously runs on airbag suspension and lowers all the way down so we'll just show you a look including what wheel and tyre combo you get. All outside lights, ratchet strap toe down points. And we've got a couple of extra options here. So we've gone with a, um, a stone guard, and that's an additional extra. And we've gone with a hand winch as well. You can get an electric winch as well. We've gone with a hand winch for those times that, you know, you may have had a bit of a mischief out on the track and you need to get it home. Comes with the jockey wheel, that's the pivot point to lower the trailer. And again, we'll go down this side, on the other side as well. Probably the compressor it sits in this part here, but it transfers air over to the other side for the airbags. And you get a spare tyre and wheel as well. So let's take you through the operation. So this sort of trailer can be operated with one or two people. And if you're going to go to lower it, you go to the little split pin over here, undo him. Now it's actually released. And you just drop the air out of this little valve here. And as you can see, she goes flat. Beautiful approach angle there, look at that. Even you've got the lowest race car on the planet you can probably get up there even with some little blocks if you wanted to as well so that is very cool there's a little switch here obviously to turn the compressor on once you turn that valve off close it that actually turns the compressor on puts air back into the system and then it pivots on this little thing here as you can see, and then when it's down, you can then put the split pin back in. So pretty, pretty simple operation. Apparently you get up to six or between five and six inflations on the one charge. And then once that's done, there's a little recharger here. And I'll show you what you get in the kit. And you just recharge it. it takes about 45 minutes from what my experience so far. And then, yeah, you can pump him back up. But let's show you what else you get in the whole kit. All right, so in the kit, you get a set of straps to go around your front wheels like this and a bit of an anchor into the floor. And then obviously that goes around the strap and you can just tie that off on the ratchet strap on the front. So that, that comes with both on the front tires and on the rear, it's got whether you can go over the rear or back of the diff or rear suspension and same sort of thing. You get two of those little hooks for the floor. Um, and yeah, that all comes in the kit. So we'll We'll inflate him again so you can sort of see the operation again as I mentioned you get about five or six charges with this and if you just watch here on the right height it'll actually show you when that's lifting up to the right height takes a little while once it's fully flat at the moment but I just thought I'd show you how long it takes so if you're thinking about buying one of these trailers, we've 
now gone to one race meeting. Super stable on the road. As you can see, we're nearly there. Perfect. And then shut him off. And then put a little pin back in. Just like, so it's always hard to do when you've got the camera in one hand. Perfect. And that is it. That's all the operation. So again, it does come with a, um, a brake safe on it. On the pin out as well. Apparently you can talk to your auto electrician and get pin number two to get power to it. And that will actually then charge the, um, the compressor as well. And I'll show you the, uh, the compressor charging unit. So as I mentioned before, there's just a little connector to go into the compressor for the charging unit. That comes with the kit. It runs normal power on that. Uh, as I mentioned, or you can use the pin out on your axle trailer adapter to do that. Now, they come with these beautiful 13x5 Koya Ford stud pattern rims. And uh, they come with Nitto tyres, that's pretty cool. And you might be thinking, there is no way that those wheels are going to hit those, or not rub against those guards, and they don't. Because it all floats, it's all part of the air suspension. Now the only drama I've had so far since owning it, is that I actually hit a side of a gutter, and I um, ruined one of the wheels. They're quite soft alloy, these things. But you can get replacements, so that, I ended up getting a replacement for that one. And I did actually damage some of the, the, the wheel studs as well, but that's alright, we, we got that fixed. That's why those wheel studs look totally different. That whole stud's been, or well, hub's been restudded. So yeah, but again, that was our first experience tow on the trailer, and it's quite long. So over six metres long, so again, you've got to have your wits about you when you're navigating traffic islands and big gutters, and yeah, I didn't. So that was good fun. So... You'll probably see us out at the racetrack with this thing, and we're very happy with it.